probably, hopefully read this article. And this article is from the University of Virginia and did a really good job explaining why it'd be good for you guys to be reporting your life experience during this virus outbreak. Because hopefully these pandemics are an abnormal event, something maybe you experience once in your life. The last huge one like this was in 1918, even though there's been other pandemics. There was nothing quite like we've been seeing in American history like we are right now since 1918. And this is the first time in the 21st century that we've seen something that has disrupted the, our lives worldwide um, like this since the last war that we had. So um, anyway, with that being said, you guys are going to create something like this. I would call this one that I'm creating a traditional journal. And I do have a link for you guys to read this on your own, so you don't have to try to read it right now. But I've just been trying to write a paragraph or so of um, basically what my experience has been throughout this whole thing. So I don't do one every day. And if you guys do a traditional journal, um, I am going to have... The rubric, the directions, and this video that I'm creating right now on this first page. But you'll scroll down and you will just simply um, type up your one to two paragraphs twice a week, this week, next week, and the week after that, and one more week. So you guys will have a total of eight journal entries. And this will be one of your bigger point assignments of the semester. And by the way, this won't be due till May 1st, so um, you have a while to do it. Just try to do it twice a week, and in fact, this is going to be one of your assignments for the week, is just to remember to do your journal, and in fact, I might do like a, like a weekly check just to make sure that you guys are doing it and keeping you updated on it. So in the end, you get 30 points, but you might get, you know, five points a week just for doing your journal. So if you do the non-traditional, it looks like this. If, or sorry, if you do a traditional, it looks like this. And if you do a non-traditional, it's going to look like this. So here's some option ideas, but you can come up with your own option. So you could write a haiku, you could do a daily drawing, you could attach pictures, newspaper clippings, online news stories. You could make your own vlog, um, Snapchat stories that you have with your friends, uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. You can mix it up and make it a whole bunch of things. Like one day this could be a haiku, one day it could be a drawing, one day it could be a vlog. Um, it could be a lot. It could be wh whatever you want. Um, so anyway, so what you would do, like say that's April 6th, you just type April 6th here. And if you create an online vlog, I know a lot of you have your own YouTube channel. You could just simply go to your YouTube channel which, um, sorry, my McDonald's internet is being very slow today. And anyway, sorry, I love my page now. So you could go to your YouTube channel, um, pretend Where you learn about that this is your vlog that you created. You take it, you copy and paste it, you put your link here, okay? Or maybe um, you write your haiku. I'm just looking up a rando haiku. Um, so I'm going to click on example haiku poems. Ah. So anyway, I just take my haiku that I created. Don't copy and paste it from the internet. And I put it here. Okay, or if you choose to do like a social media post, so you go to your social media that you have, and it's got to be a COVID post. Like, actually, my last social media post was a COVID post, or maybe this. I mean, this is a COVID post, so. This is nice because it has the timestamp with it or the date with it. And then you just take it and you insert your picture. So to insert a picture, you just do insert image, upload your image. And you put your social media posts. So like 
you could take a screenshot of your Snapchat and all that kind of stuff. So you want to probably minimize your picture of those. That's not humongous. <laughs> and then so whatever you decide to do here, and if it's your drawing, just put your picture there or whatever. Take a picture of it with your iPad and put your picture in there. And um, anyway, what you do when you're done with it is you do a little explanation of it. So I could say something like, I posted this on uh, Facebook today because I was feeling frustrated with the amount of work I have to do. Um, Yesterday I spent 11 hours at the computer and was interrupted by my family. On several occasions, my back hurts a lot because now I have to sit and stare. Sit, I can't spell stare today, my brain is gone. Sit at a computer all of the time. Now, and my head hurts. So, yesterday I was frustrated. So, just a little explanation. You don't have to write a full paragraph here, but give me a couple sentences or something. And if you created a vlog, your vlog is explanation enough, but any other of the options, I do want an explanation. So that's all you have to do twice a week. Pretty simple stuff. Now, 